Welcome back to another edition of Not Quite Universal Month. This time I tackled this review number four, and I took a look at Jordan Peele's Get Out. This was a very fun movie. I think this is one of the best movies. I think it was 20... Yeah, best movie of 2016. I thought it was 2017, but it's 2016. Uh, but yeah, really fun film. Uh, let's talk about the movie Get Out. Uh, Get Out follows the story about... How to get it back to DVD? Who is it? Uh, yeah. Get Out follows the story of Chris, played by Daniel Kluya. He's he's hanging out with his girlfriend, played by Alice... Alice is it? Uh... Allison Williams. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, they're actually boyfriend and girlfriend. So she spends... She decides to take Chris out to her parents' place. Uh, her parents, played by Catherine Keener and... and Yeah, Bradley Wilford. Uh, 90 Sands will recognize him as Eric from the 1995 film Billy Madison. Uh, yeah. But anyways... Uh, really good. I thought they were, I thought the, the family and that, her parents were really good. I thought they were, uh, I thought they were not really the best thing, but they were really fun. The movie is just really, really fun. I think it's, I think it's, uh, well made. Uh, Jordan Peele's directorial debut knocked it. I was really happy he got the best screenplay. So anyways, back to the movie. They decide that they notice that this, that her her parents, her mom is really into hypnotism. So he, her idea is to hypnotize him with uh, tea. After they spin the tea like that, he is suddenly hypnotized like that. So basically, he's hypnotized, and like all of a sudden, he's like floating like that, very slow, like what I'm doing very very slowly he's like an abyss like that he can't speak so he's like doing this like that and it's just intense like tears are coming down his eyes so one scene they close his eye like that and like pitch dark so he'll like be in the middle he'll wake back up in bed and said i think your mom just hypnotized me that's pretty much the setup of get out is just insane. Like I said, Jordan Peele just knocked it. I was kind of bummed that it didn't get Best Picture. I don't know why that didn't get a Best Picture. Yeah, it, it should have... Hang on, I'm trying to... Okay. It should have won Best Picture. That's what bug, bugged me the most. But I'm regardless, this movie's great. So, final verdict. Am I able to recommend Get Out? Absolutely yes. Like I said, get your hands on a copy of Swatter It's On. DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, digital download, uTorrent, whatever. YouTube, whatever. You need to see this film. I don't want to give away too much of the film, but the ending is so, so chilling. Uh, let's actually talk about the special features because there's actually a couple special features here. You get an alternate ending, which, by the way, the alternate ending actually is, in my opinion, better because it makes you think. Not going to give away the real ending or the alternate ending, but if you watch the real ending, the real ending was good. And it, it, the near the end of the film, I'm not going to give away the movie, but near the end, it will give you chills. It gave me chills watching it. And yeah, just that. But in terms of actual special features, aside from the ending, you also get to lead scenes. You get unveil unrevealing the horror of Get Out, a Q&A discussion with Jordan Peele and cast, and the commentary by Jordan Peele. I did watch the commentary part of it after I finished this just to see what it was like. And it's not a bad commentary. Jordan Peele even explained that the two casting, I'll show in the back, the two cast members right here, I honestly, I love Catherine Keener. I think Catherine Keener is a really good character actress. And a surprise like Bradley Wilford is really good. The only thing, like I said, I knew him from was Billy Madison. That was the other thing I, I knew. The first time I knew Bradley Wilford was in Billy Madison, which was also another Universal Studios film. I will not cover that one for this year's 
not quite, or Universal Month in April. But I wanted to bring that up, though, so we are clear on that. Uh, but they're great. Like I said, it's it's the usual. Like, Blumhouse, to me, just every... Most movies I've seen Blumhouse have been good. Some have been bad. The worst on that is Green Inferno. And no, I will never touch that movie again. I watched it, and that was garbage. I will never watch that one again. But yeah, check this movie out. It is really, really well made. And yeah, um, yeah, solid A plus a masterpiece. Not really horror, but more suspense. Yeah. Anyways, so that's my review of Get Out for Not Quite Universal Month. Come back next time. I will have another review. Take care.